In this video, I will be reviewing the SRM20's engraving accessory kit components. Before we jump right into installing and using this kit, I figured it would be useful to review some of the parts, specifics, and details uh, as we get going here. To start off, I'm going to go ahead and open the kit. One of the first things you may notice uh, is really our itemized list here. Under the lid, we will have a list of all of the noted components within this and some of the specifications or part numbers uh, corresponding to those items. Let's go ahead and begin. First item uh, of interest here, we have these metric standoffs that will be used to raise the machining bed to a height which will allow our short reach tools to uh, have full travel on the system. The tutorials will then note when to use these and how to install those, so stay tuned on that. Next up, we have our CNC V-bits. Uh, this kit comes with three standard, and we will be using these with the included collets to fix them in the machine. Next up, we have our diamond scribing tool here. Uh, notice that it's labeled accordingly. We have a capped tip, and this will come into play when we're looking at diamond scribing on the kit, gift marking, or things of that nature. Carrying on, uh, we will take a look at the centering vise. So this kit comes standard with a centering vise, allowing for the quick and easy securing of various uh, gift items, keepsakes, and what have you. On the right side of the kit, you'll notice these containers here, uh, which really contain our collets for the machine. Now we have a quarter inch collet here, uh, marked 6.35 for kind of metric units, and our eighth inch here, 3.175. These will be used in conjunction with the CNC V-bits or the diamond scribing tools. And again, the collet is just a, a simple clamping component used to fix the tool to the spindle. Continuing on here, we have two sort of fixtures in here. These engraving material fixtures really aid in the ease of use of the system. First up is our corner indexing fixture. Uh, this will attach to the machine and allow for easy placement of materials or objects right onto the bed. The second engraving material fixture uh, is really used to seat the centering vise onto the bed in a very consistent and reliable manner. Getting towards the bottom of our kit, we then have the AS10 sheets. These are used to uh, fix material to the engraving platform and hold our fixtures in place. Lastly, at the bottom of the box, we will have our V-Carve desktop license code. Now, this is uh, one of the bigger items uh, included in this kit. The tutorial will walk us through how to install this and get this set up with our SRM20, but very important. So keep the box. Remember that this license code is at the bottom, and you should be all set. 